Uh, another very important issue is, yes, I also have a family. You need to know this. So sometimes people, you know, they, they expect you to be here and there, but I have children. My children, I try and spend maximum time with them. They are sitting here with you today. And mashallah, I really appreciate the fact that they too need to bear much patience sometimes. And sometimes bear patience with irritant people. Some people irritate, you know. Someone wants to get hold of you and they'll phone 50 times and they start giving your family a mouthful to say, who do you think you are? What do you think? But hang on, the man is not here. Are you sure he's not there? Do you think I'm a liar? It happens. You know, what's the problem? Maybe you don't want me to talk to him. No, don't speak that way. This is the soul of the bad perception I spoke about moments ago that will eradicate chances of entering paradise. Take that out of your heart. Take it at face value. If they were lying, the sin is theirs. But if you stop believing them, the sin is now yours. Because who, why? What evidence do you have? And another thing is, big deal. Maybe they don't want to talk to you. So, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> yes. It's like, you know, some people who owe you money, when you call them, they don't want to answer sometimes. And sometimes what happens is, we've seen this happening, when the, when the knock... Uh, is heard on the door that father tells the son go and tell them I'm not here <laughs> so the son goes to the door and opens the door is your dad here he says he told me to tell you that he's not here <laughs> they sell the story you see so it happens and as I was saying we need to be considerate of that and at the same time we all of us need to spend maximum time with our children because sometimes whilst trying to save the world we lose our own family remember this Whilst trying to save the world, you lose your own family. I've always said, and I'm sure you've heard, I've always said, what is the point of going out of your way to be kind to people around you when you are brutal in your own home? What's the point? Kindness begins at home. Charity begins at home. Khairukum, khairukum li ahli. The best from amongst you are those best to their family members. What's the point? So nice to others. And I, I watch sometimes. You know, you go to a public place. That's another thing. You know, I also would go into a mall. You might find me strolling a mall. And I don't like big issues and publicity. No, you go into a mall. You might want to buy something. You might have to go here or there. You might take your children on an outing somewhere. You might find me also, perhaps, maybe. Although I, I don't really like to go out and outings and I'm not an outdoor person but I have to I have to make myself like it because I have children who would need that as part of their upbringing remember so if you find me at the zoo not necessarily because I love animals <laughs> and definitely not because I believe in reincarnation <laughs> obviously we don't but at the same time it would be because of the children and then you know some people say oh you know we saw this guy at the mall astaghfirullah come on you're a human being you gotta go there you know and uh, this is why we say brothers and sisters when you when we go to public places sometimes we notice how people who are muslims they operate with persons of the opposite sex in a way that they are so kind they smile they they are, they are really beautiful people to others who are strange on the street just because someone looks nice and just because you know they happen to have had enough makeup on the face at that particular time and they are so kind and the minute they turn to their families they are like lions Wallahi we see it happening that is very unfair that is hypocrisy of the highest order that needs to be changed it needs to be changed like we said you'll never get Whatever you want, how you want it in this world. Never ever. It's never promised. There's no verse in the Quran or no hadith which tells you that you will get what you want in this world if you are a believer. Not one verse. Not even a, not even a hint. The only thing is you will be content with what Allah has chosen for you if you're a believer. Content meaning Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. We thank Allah on all conditions. That is it.